Welcome to Super Chat. I'm your host, Just Jess, and each week we recap the superhero shows on Charlotte CW, but we also do it with some very cool local guests who work in kind of the comic industry in Charlotte and um, and just kind of involved in doing things with superheroes, stuff like that. Uh, any just sometimes fandom. We can like anybody here on the show. But we've got today with us, we have Ron Rossman, who does the Dusk series. You're kind of the mastermind behind this Facebook Live live action show and it's a series and then you're also our flash cosplayer when we're out at events so you may recognize the eyes you may but he vibrates and, and maybe so you this can't part tell. <laughs> um, yes uh, so tell us uh, about what's going on with dusk comic okay. series so the dust series was born of a, a three a part novel that i had written never published and so we decided to make it the very first dramatic live stream series on Facebook. Mm -hmm. So we finished uh, all 14 episodes this wow. year. And <laughs> no yeah, it pressure, was tough. Right? Yeah. Uh, every Gosh. episode's like eight to 11 minutes long. And we had a complete volunteer cast, did a phenomenal job. Uh, we just now got the uh, the DVD finished, which nice. is the polished version with all the soundtracks and the special effects. So it, it, feeds, it feels like a movie as opposed to a series. Cool. Um, and uh, just really proud of what we've accomplished. And season two, is going to be even bigger. We've actually got some pretty sizable names joining on. Oh, Casey nice. Page, the country music singer, Rob Kellum, Papa Maestro, the wrestler, wow. is going to be on it. So we're adding this next level of cast. Nice. Um, so season two is going to kind of be very similar to season two of Arrow. Okay. We've kind of built the origin. Now we're getting into the, the 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 real action of it. We've got two stunt choreographers. They're going to help us with fight scenes. Whoa. We have a lot of action scenes, which I is something do we could do before. <laughs> yeah. I love I'm going to do a cameo. <laughs> And I'm just gonna. <laughs> Absolutely. You, don't, you don't want me to do that. We're, we're, we're learning bow fighting for this, this season, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. That's cool. So, um, and I brought a couple props. So, this is the Soul Piercer. Oh. Yeah, that's how powerful that's it is. That's how I do This things. is the Soul Piercer. This is the only um, item that can actually kill an immortal being. Okay. So, um, now. Now, where does one get that? This one actually was. Uh, <laughs> Where do was I get a soul we found it on eBay. Oh, okay. uh, I, I wanted to find something that had the vampire look to it, yeah. but also was easy enough for someone to carry and it's not be too bulky. It's very Yeah, and, and it wanted, we wanted it to look very ominous. It's got the skulls on it and all that, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it looks great on screen. Of course, it heavy. won't be. It, yeah, it's heavy. It won't be the item that they actually use in the fight scenes because it's an actual sword, so we don't want anybody getting impaled. Yeah, no. uh, and I brought some <laughs> vampire hunting equipment as well, but we're really excited. The, uh, the first episode is always pre-taped. It'll be in February. Okay. It'll be a flashback scene, and then everything else will be live from there. Uh, and it'll run through February all the way through June. And so. people can go to facebook.com slash Dusk Series. Yep. Dusk Series. Dusk Series um, on, Facebook. on Facebook. Yeah, and look and watch. You can watch these things live, which we're doing this live, and that's a lot of work I cannot imagine. My like, cast's incredible. Choreographing and all this. That's I want to give a shout out to Tyler Suggs, who's our editor and director of photography. He's phenomenal. He runs Furious, uh, I'm sorry, FanCast 42. Um, he's also got three films out there right now, Torrent, Messiah, and Vessel, that have all award-winning. He's busy. So uh, he's been amazing. <laughs> Tyler and, uh, Suggs, you said? Yeah, Tyler Suggs. We couldn't do it without him. He did the CD cover. Um, he did the CDs. Everything is falling. Apparently, Gavin <laughs> works today. It's cheap. Uh, yeah. It's cheap. We don't have any nice He did sets. all this, um, and he put the CD to get, duty together, so we're really thankful to him. Very yeah. cool. Well, make sure you check out the Dust series. We also have with us Brandon Paget from Big Dog Studio, and you do, uh, one of the cool things I think you do is the uh, lunchtime sketches, mm -hmm. um, and you, you do a lot more pieces of art, like the Inktober. You just did a whole month of that. Show us some of the work you've been, and tell us kind of what's been going on. Um, well, it started out with uh, my my son when he first started going to Who school. Who is here? He's, He's a, our live right studio there. audience. <laughs> he, uh, he started kindergarten, and I wanted to do something special for him to take, you know, to get him used to going to school, so I would do little lunch sketches, and it's more about his lunch sketch than me doing it at lunch. Uh -huh. Some of them, it just happens to happen that way, that That's I do so them most cool. at lunch. He's now in second grade, and I have a four-year-old daughter, Lauren, who uh, gonna have to do two I've, now. I've already, I'm already doing two. And that's great. And I've only missed two days in th almost three years. That's and and you also have a very budding artist also because Jonathan made me this. He's sitting over there. It's a flash turkey for Thanksgiving. <laughs> that's that's so turkey. Cool. Thanks for being here and watching, Jonathan. Um, and how was Inktober? Was it hectic? Was it fun? Uh, was see, it challenging? This year, I decided uh, to do lunch sketches it's for a, that's good. That's so that's kind of that's if you I mean I don't think you can see it from here but the difference between what I used to do was I would hand draw and hand color all of these and yes. that became a chore yep. yeah and so now I'll digital color I'll do them in ink and then I'll throw them in photoshop in. so 
That's nice. Inktober was all set up for getting ready for the next month for of lunch success. sketches. That's amazing. You need to publish books of the lunch sketches. That's your next project. I might get sued. Could you? <laughs> well, yeah. Maybe just a published book that you could give to your children um, <laughs> on the coffee table. These graphics, uh, I'm going to have a lot of the original art available at the Charlotte Comic Con uh, December uh, 17th. Yes. I know Joey will be there, and I know he, yeah. uh, he'll be walking around. I don't know who you're going to be this time. Oh, no, we're just doing stuff for dusk. Oh, well, dusk there you go. I might be there walking around to Charlotte Comic Con. So, Joey Navarra Jr., you're going to be there. What have you been working on? Uh, I've been working on a few comics, okay. um, but the next project that I'm really excited about is uh, Dad Cops. I'm excited about this, too, uh, it's because like a, of the name. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's just a spoof on... Um, on um, just cop dramas and, and then shows like <laughs> and full, dads, uh, yeah, and then <laughs> shows like Full House. Oh, I think it's so great. The graphic for it is um, so like I love the colors you use. It's very cool and neons. And is it a retro vibe or is it set in modern? There you are, right there, Dad Cops. Um, is um, it supposed to be retro or is it in modern times? It's it's going to be set in modern times. The colors so is more um, inspired by the old Nickelodeon Doug cartoon. I, I love don't know if you Doug. That. I do. <laughs> I like um, Quail Man and the Beats and yes, <laughs> get real Skeeter deep Valentine in a dub. And those, yes. all the characters, do yeah. you notice everybody has the Roger Klotz hairdo now? All the guys do. It's very popular. You can yeah. no one here has the Roger Klotz hairdo. No one did that. It's Vince. I think that needs to be your next hairdo. <laughs> Talking to Vince, our camera guy. Um, that's so great. And you also have Pursued by a Bear number two. Yeah, that, that should be coming out um, early next year. Okay. Um, the next chapter of a. Uh, a fantasy series about a female panda samurai on a revenge mission. I love that. Because, I mean, there aren't many of those pandas, <laughs> female pandas on a revenge mission. I read the first one. It's a lot of fun. I'm excited for the next one. So we can see really everybody at Charlotte Comic Con, yep. December 17th mm -hmm. yep. coming up. That's exciting. I want to go. And then, as always, um, we have Heroes Mini Con, January 27th, at the Grady Cole Center, I believe, is where it'll be again this year so next week you gotta stay tuned and watch the four night for two night oh my gosh two night four episode crossover event all the superhero shows will cross over and then i actually received from the cw the pilot of black lightning so that'll be coming oh, cool, out cool. january 16th i believe now is the release date for that so we have every superhero show imaginable <laughs> there's so many of them we're excited about them all Thank you guys so much for being here today and for talking about all the shows with me. And, of course, we'll be back next week to talk about the crossover. But until then, everyone have a really happy Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for all you guys who watch and write in and everything. So have a good one and eat a lot of food and happy flashing. <laughs>